Hello friends, welcome to Big Foodies. Today we are making Muli Besan Ki Sabzi. You can also call it as radish or daikon cooked with gram flour. Radish is a very aromatic and flavor packed vegetable and when you combine it with besan, it tastes really delicious. It's a simple preparation and is best served with rotis, parathas or puris. Before checking the recipe, please subscribe to Big Foodies by pressing the subscribe button to get new recipes every week and never miss a video from Big Foodies and hit the bell icon to get notifications about new recipes. Let's check the ingredients now to make Muli Besan Ki Sabzi for your family and friends. Hello friends, today we are making Muli Ka Besan. To make Muli Ka Besan, we have taken 300 grams of Muli, which is also called as radish or daikon, and we have peeled the Muli and washed it. We have also taken some green chilies. Take the green chilies as per your taste. Now we need to grate this Muli using the grater. So we have grated the Muli. Now chop the green chilies. So we are using the scissors to chop the green chilies. So chop the green chilies over the grated radish. So our mooli and green chilies are ready for making mooli besan ki sabzi. So let's fry the mooli besan ki sabzi. For making mooli ka besan, we have taken about four to five tablespoons of oil in a pan. Now add asafoetida, generous amount of asafoetida. Add one teaspoon of cumin seeds or jeera. Keep the flame on medium low while you're cooking it. Add two teaspoons of mustard seeds or rye. Allow the mustard seeds and cumin seeds to crackle. Once mustard seeds and cumin seeds are cluttered, add the grated moody and green chili. Keep the flame on medium low. Add the salt as per your taste. So remember, we will also add the basin. So remember to add the salt accordingly. Add a teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi. Red chili powder as per your taste. So we are adding about two teaspoons of red chili powder here. 2 teaspoons of coriander powder or the meal powder. Mix it well. Now add about 1 cup of water. Mix it well. Now cover it with a lid and keep the flame on medium and allow it to cook for 5 minutes. So we have cooked the muli for about 7 to 8 minutes and uh, the muli has become nice and soft. Now reduce the flame to low. Add a teaspoon of amchur powder or raw mango powder. So if you don't want to add raw mango powder or amchur powder, you can skip it and uh, when you are eating the basin, then you can add some lemon juice too instead of the amchur powder. But don't add the lemon juice here because we don't want to cook the lemon juice. So we are adding about 1 teaspoon of amchur powder here. So adjust the level of soreness as per your taste. Add 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder. Now mix it well. Now start adding the basin slowly. And just we need to add enough basin so that the mooli and besan makes a thick paste so 
after you add the basin just mix it and check if we need to add more basin or not so we need a little bit more basin here add a little bit more basin mix it we don't add too much of basin otherwise the mooly basin sabzi will not taste good we want to have enough basin only to make a thick paste mooly and basin here So we have kept the flame to low and you can see that after mixing the basin with mooli it has formed into a thick paste. After mixing the basin cook it on a medium low flame for at least 15 to 20 minutes and remember to stir it occasionally in between every 3 to 4 minutes because the basin may stick to the bottom of pan. So stir the basin every 3 to 4 minutes just to make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom cover it and cook it for around 20 minutes on a medium low flame so we have cooked the basin on low flame for 20 minutes so the basin is cooked nicely the raw flavor of the basin is gone away just give it a stir if a little bit of basin is sticking at the bottom that is fine if you don't want to the basin to stick then use the non-stick pan. Now garnish with a generous amount of coriander leaves or cilantro. Give it a mix. And now we can serve it. So we have served the mulika basin. You can have this basin ki sabzi with uh, roti, paratha or puris. Enjoy this delicious Rajasthani treat with your family and friends. Just try this recipe and if you like it, please subscribe, like and share this video. Thanks for watching.